You're back for more. Great, I got lots to serve up. I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot. And it is Wednesday. It is August 28th, which means tomorrow, August 29th being Thursday, I've got my live streaming event. I do this every Thursday, 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Me and my lovely co-host Taylor go on live for about an hour and a half taking requests from viewers like you. We want your hot penny stocks. I share hot penny stocks with you all week. This gives you a chance to bring one to us so we can share it with everybody else. Drop it in the comment box. I'll go over the information. Taylor will cover the charts and we'll give you our opinions if that's what you're after. Now, if you really want your ticker looked at, I suggest you get it in the queue early. I do go by first come, first served, and I got to announce I'm doing this video earlier in the day. And as soon as I post that announcement, bing, the tickers start dropping in. Well, by the time four o'clock rolls around, I've already got all the tickers for the show. So what we're doing is saving two spots. We're going to get up about six tickers before the show, and then we'll grab up two during the show. So bring us your hot tickers, drop them during the show. Two of them, Taylor's going to choose. Probably look for the ones that have the hottest charts. Can't guarantee that. It's up to Taylor. That is four o'clock on Thursdays, every Thursday, Eastern Standard Time. So what I like to do on this show is to bring you my own personal due diligence on a hot penny stock. I trade penny stocks all the time. Been trading for quite a while. I'm a day trader. I trade from bell to bell, looking for stocks under five bucks that have potential to make me money and you money. And when I go looking for hot penny stocks, it takes way too much time to go through all the filings and press releases. Oh my God, you'd never get through them all. But in a few minutes, you'd be amazed how many charts you can scan. And you can see heat in the chart rather quickly. So when I find heat in a chart, then I'll take the time to go through that company's press releases and filings, narrowing down my work, looking for some hot information. And I'll look over the last 30 days, because if you got a hot chart, you don't have to have a big catalyst or a fresh catalyst. You just need some catalyst. A little bit of push can get it moving. And that's what we've got today. We've got a stock that's got a lot of little catalysts. This is shot. Ticker SHOT, safety shot. Now we've talked about this numerous times over the last year, but right now is a real good time to look at it. They've got a hot product, but now they've got a lot more going on. They're expanding. They've got evidence, clinical evidence that has just come in, which is really what we've been waiting for. And this all aligns with a hot chart. It is an atypical breakout chart where you got that 200 day SMA coming down fast and furious, price up underneath it. 200 starts to level out, getting off the back of the price so it can start climbing, cutting through the 200 and taking off. And that's what we've got here, folks. So, shot, she finished today at 94 cents and she was up about 10.5% today. Now, she is on the NASDAQ. That's a major exchange where you don't have to pay for your transactions. You can trade pre-market, after-market. Heck of a lot more money and volume up there compared to the OTC, as well as rules, which keeps these companies honest, which keeps our investments safe. Now, this company being on the major exchange, she also has a warrant. Shot W. Just put a W at the end for warrant. Warrants are basically coupons that the company sells, but you can trade them as stock, get in, get out, make your profit, and they are really cheap. They are penny stocks virtually all the time. This one is at 19 cents. Warrants are good for if you want to make money down the road and really believe this company is going to grow. If you save your warrants, they're good for three to five years. And let's say three years down the road, the price of the stock is 20 bucks. Well, the warrant says once the price hits a dollar, you can buy the stock for a dollar and a quarter. Well, you're not going to do it at that time when you have the warrant. But three years down the road, when it's 20 bucks, you take a warrant, you take a buck and a quarter, and you can buy a $20 share for one buck. That's a lot of profit. How many warrants you got? So when the stock starts to move, and it'll go 10, 20, 30%, in many cases, you will see the warrant move even harder and faster on a lot less volume. You can see warrants go 50, 100, 200, 1,000 percent run when the stock is just doing 10, 20, 30 percent. So you may want to keep an eye on this as well. So are you familiar with what SHOT is about? Maybe, maybe not. This is their website. What they have got is a product, the first patented beverage that helps you recover faster from drinking. 
whether it be a hangover or just drinking right now, by reducing blood alcohol content. Now, this is a very novel product. People were saying it was a bunch of BS, it was fake, it wasn't real, but now they've got clinical evidence to back that up, as we're going to see in the news. They tell us down here that Safety Shot Beverage was launched Q4 2023 and is the first patented beverage on earth that helps people feel better faster by reducing blood alcohol content and boosting clarity. In a fragmented category, this product's alcohol reducing effect is a powerful differentiator. Compared to competitors like The Plug, Morning Recovery, Safety Shot lowers blood alcohol content by supporting its metabolism in only minutes and not hours. They say you can feel better in less than 30 minutes, which can be pretty quick. Now, I was wondering, how many places are they distributing this? Have they got any big contracts? Who's distributing it for them? Well, I started looking around for all that information, which could have been a lot of due diligence and probably still is. But while I was doing that, I found this kind of made my research quick and easy. Store locator. Now, looking at the stores we've got right here, there's just a little over 400. They, If you come in closer, you can see actually where they are at. But we've got about 400 stores right now, which is pretty good. They are in lots of different places across the country. But unless certain areas of the country are immune to hangovers or getting drunk, they've got a lot more area to cover. I mean, everybody everywhere gets drunk and has hangovers. So we are just getting this started right now. And again, as you're going to see in the news, the company is expanding very quickly right now. I have gone back here to June 27th. We're going to cover the news I've got highlighted here, but we're only going to jump into two of them. On the 27th of June, comedian actor Drew Drusky Dresboards joined Safety Shot as their newest brand ambassador. It never hurts to have celebrity endorsements. The bigger the celebrity, the better. They go on to tell us that the president on uh, June 28th invested $1 million into the company. That's a big plus. Then they got rid of one of their ambassadors, Ryan Garcia. I guess he said something that was not politically correct. And right now he is going into drug and alcohol rehab. So they have cut him free. <laughs> The next piece of news came out halfway through July. Safety Shop partners with Kihi Distributors to expand nationwide access. This is hot news, folks. This partnership will greatly expand market reach for Safety Shop to meet increased demand and broader consumer audience. Kihi Distributors, renowned as one of the nation's largest and most respected pure play grocery and natural distributors, KE's impressive team of more than 6,800 employee slash owners and 19 distribution center networks across North America will be impactful in delivering Safety Shot's innovative formula to thousands of new retail locations across the United States. We were just looking at slightly over 400. Now they're going to be adding thousands. That's expansion, folks, in a very big way. This partnership will enable us to reach new heights in our distribution efforts, ensuring more consumers have access to Safety Shop. Back to that news. On August 5th, the company released their on-the-go powder stick packs. They want to sell these singly, but right now they sell them in six packs. You get six in a pack. Now, I thought these were powdered packs that you would mix with water or whatever beverage you've got, and you would have it on the go. It looks to be like BC powder, just something you open up and pour the powder right into your mouth and swallow as is. First product of its kind on earth. Nobody else has got anything like that. So now they've got two products. Actually, they've got three. We've got news that goes a little bit further back. Their beverage is a 12 ounce beverage. Well, if you have a hangover or you've been drinking a lot, you probably may not want to drink an entire 12 ounce beverage. So now they've done like that five hour power drink. They've made little tiny shots, four ounces, and they are working to have them put up on the countertops. So it's an impulse buy. You walk up into these stores to get your Coca-Cola, your cigarettes or whatever it is you need, your aspirin. And then you see right there 
a remedy for a hangover. It's going to sell like hotcakes, folks. So they've got three products, the beverage, the powder, and the small shots, and they are getting them out there as fast as they can. Then what we have been waiting for, for a long time, there's been a lot of controversy about this company's drink not being legit. It was August 12th. The company announced powerful data analysis from recent clinical trial confirming dramatic reduction of blood alcohol content. There you go, folks. That was the diamond in the mine. We were looking for proof. They say they've got it. Now, I haven't dove into that. I'll let you do that. But now they've got distribution. They have got clinical evidence. What else do they need? Well, how about some advertising? How about getting their name out there everywhere? Well, I'm glad you brought that up. Next piece of news came out uh, today. Safety Shot announces partnership with digital growth platform Vendo. As masters in the e-commerce space, Vendo is anticipated to significantly help to grow the Safety Shot brand online. Safety Shot Inc. today announced a partnership with fully customizable multi-purpose e-commerce platform Vendo. Identifying themselves as Amazon experts and Walmart marketplace wizards, hey, <laughs> Vendo is a platform company that works directly with brands to drive strategic and sustainable growth across digital e-commerce system. These guys are considered the best team in the business and will help Safety Shot grow its brand significantly. With how tremendous online shopping is, this is our newest strategic move in getting products into as many hands as possible. Currently, e-commerce is one of the fastest growing industries worldwide, and we know that, folks. Everybody shops online. Backed up by some seriously impressive numbers, Forbes reported that global, global e-commerce was over $6 trillion in 2023 and is just under $7 trillion for 2024, and we ain't done yet. This uh, new relation they have with the company Vendo, Vendo is going to take care of creating beautiful and cohesive content, product display pages. They're going to drive strategy and operations. I mean, they're going to do everything. They're going to do all the creating, all of the advertising. They've got a company that is going to spread the word about what they do online and, as they say here, offline as well. So they've got the whole boat going now. They've got expansion with one company to thousands of new di distribution centers. They've got Vendo getting them all over the place online, offline, so that they're going to get a lot more business from this arena. And, oh, we've got more information. Haven't got there yet. So <laughs> let's go take a look at the stock so I can share the rest of what we've got going on here. Looking at the relative volume for the company. It's down. Yeah, she's been doing about a million shares a day for the last 30 days as an average. Today, she's just over 600,000. That's definitely under the radar on the major exchanges. Share structure for shot. Not too bad. We've got 52 million here. I dove into the financials. The financials said it's actually 45 million. Great, better yet. We don't know what the insiders own, but you subtract that from the outstanding share count. That'll tell you what the float is. So our float isn't going to be higher than the quoted 45 million shares and could be considerably less, which is a decent float. Anything under 100 million is a decent float. Don't get spoiled after all these reverse splits. We've got a lot of super duper low floats out there right now. Shots market cap, we are currently at about $44 million. Financials for shot. Well, this is where things are starting to spark up. Now, I'm not quite sure what was going on two years ago. 2020 and 2021, they were making multiple millions of dollars. I don't think it was with this beverage. So I'm not quite sure what it was they were doing back then. And they were making a profit. Now, if I've confused you there, I'm sorry. We've got to add three zeros to any of these numbers. So that's not a thousand and two thousand. That's a million and two million. 2022, they were all the way down to $120,000. And 2023, they were at $202,000. And they're not making any profits here recently. Let's take a look at the quarterlies. We've got something going on now. Our revenues have been growing over the last year. I'm not going to say they're growing fast, but they're growing. Starting off here at 11000 
At the end of June of 2024, which is their most recent financial, we're up to 710, which is a significant growth. At that time, they had 400 distributorships out there. Now we're going to have thousands. They're actually making a profit now. Look, we had no profit any quarter. Now we're starting to make profit. Balance sheet for the company. Remembering to bring those three zeros over here. Looking at the cash and cash equivalents, which I claim to be the bank. We got about 3.2 million. Total assets, about 10.5 million. Total liabilities is just over 4 million. So we are holding positive stockholder equity. Us investors, we get $6.5 million. So we've got positive stockholder equity. Revenues are growing. Profit is finally coming in. Things aren't that bad fundamentally. Little tiny plants don't look very impressive, but they start to grow and get bigger and bigger, faster and faster. Take a look at our disclosures for the company. All of these disclosures, this 8K, this 8K, this has to do with the news. There's your most recent financial, best place to do your due diligence. You're going to get all the information in a financial. This 8K goes along with the financial. Not as complicated to read, less information in there, but there is a lot. Now, speaking of that financial, let us cover a couple bullets that they wanted to bring to our attention about the last one that just came out in June. Q2 revenues increased by 40%. Q2 operating expenses decreased by 17%. That's good. We're growing on both ends the way we should. Recent clinical trial confirms dramatic reduction of blood alcohol content. Revolutionary formula to be soon released in convenient four ounce bottles, the little shots. And we now have a powdered version of alcohol reducing nutraceutical to be released in Q4. So they got a lot of things about ready to launch here. New distribution places, thousands of them, two new products on top of the one that they've already got. And people are gonna drink regardless of what the economy is, regardless of what crypto's doing, MPOX is doing, people are gonna drink and have hangovers and be looking for remedies. So I think this company's got a great product coming in all the different ways that we'd wanna use it. It's looking hot to me. And you know what makes it look even hotter? The chart. Let's go take a look at it. So let's take a shot at Charting Shop on my free trading platform, Thinkorswim. We got ticker SHOT opened up to a one day, one year chart. We got a brilliant 52 week high back in November of $7.50. And then we've got a miserable 52 week low two weeks ago of 55 cents. Now we've looked at this stock three times over the last year indicated by these blue lines. Twice in January and once in October. And wasn't that a brilliant time to look at it? We caught this at a buck 17 and over many days, many opportunities to take gains. She ran up to a high of $7 and 50 cents. Went into a tailspin falling. We looked at her at the beginning of January when she was still falling, bad timing there. Caught her on a bounce at about 256. She continued climbing to 396. After that, she went into a downtrend, falling through the 200 down to that 52 week low of 55 cents. Now, what I'm looking at on this chart, honestly, is that 200 haul. I know most of you aren't real familiar with the 200 haul outside of what I say about it, but it really should be on your chart. First off, the 200 haul has as much authority and as much strength as the 200 day MA, not to be ignored. Both of these take 200 days of prices and average them together. But the 200 haul puts more credence on current prices. What you've got here is a special relationship between the 200 haul and the price. I see it over and over again, folks. If the price is underneath the 200 and above the 200 haul, and this 200 haul turns up, it will help. It will assist the price to move and move fast and hard. It will literally push and catapult the price up to the 200 and through it. I see it over and over again. So what I'm waiting for is for this 200 haul, which is just now starting to go level to turn up and on my screen, it'll turn blue to let me know it's turned up. And then I expect a flood of power to come into the price. And if all of the other SMAs in between the two 200s are also pointed up, we're going to have a big push right through that 200. So I'm watching my 200 haul to start turning up.
Not a lot of excitement about volume. That is way, way down right now. Volume comes into the picture. That can really change things. Our oscillators are looking good. Our PPO is starting to climb. We've got an imminent crossover right here. We want that blue line on top of the pink climbing. Just like we want this blue line climbing over top of this floor, the signal line. And our green bars are coming into the picture right now showing more positive strength coming in. And our RSI is climbing. Currently up there at 59. So this chart is looking good. She's setting up nicely for us. Let's come on down to the four hour, six month. So now we've got a high of $5.12. Dropped really hard and fast down to about a buck 70. Ricocheted across that 200 back up to four bucks. Then came down underneath it. Now we had a breakout attempt right there because the 200 went flat. That's when you have your breakouts. You really can't break out if the 200 is falling. They'll jump up there and if they try to stand up, they'll slip and fall. And when they come back underneath, they'll fall way deep. So normally you just get pokes through and back down. We had a flat 200 there. She broke out, but wasn't up there long. Came back underneath and she's been in a downtrend for a really long time. Now let's take a look. No, before we take a look, let's get some SNRs. Yes. We need some supports and resistances. So I'm going to grab one here. We'll get more on the hourly chart because it's a little easier when they get close. But I'm going to grab a couple right here. I see all of this is laying on top and this is bumping up to the bottom of it. You can see all of this is laying right there. There are going to be some more in the middle. I see one right there where everything is bumping its head. All right, let's focus in on what's going on here. She's in a downtrend. She comes down. We got a big spike here. Put a flag up over top of that 200. Hey, I'm here. Don't leave without me. Comes down, crouches down to a low bubble and pounces like a cat through every single MA straight to the 200. Rode that 200, fell down to the, well, I was going to say the 20, but it looks like she came down to this soft support. Bounced off of that, and right now she is sitting on that 200 brilliantly. And the 200 is just now starting to go flat. All of our SMAs are turned up and climbing, ready to cross that 200 like that 20 right now. Anytime another SMA crosses a big MA, that is a golden cross. You're going to get more oomph in the price rise there. Oscillators are looking good on our four hour PPO, percentage price oscillator is climbing. We've got an imminent crossover right now in our MACD. Stop making those red bars. Start making some green ones here. And our RSI is warming up. It's up to 59 right now. Taking a look at our 20 day, one hour. You know what? I think I'm going to have to get my resistances on the four hour. There just isn't enough over there. So let's grab some more here. Actually one, two, three. I'll get one underneath just in case she falls. I want to know where she's going to fall to. Yeah, about right there. All right, that's good enough. Let's go back to our hourly now. So we've definitely got a trend change here. Our 200 was falling hard right here. She went flat and now she is climbing. Our price was falling hard. Now this is exciting folks. That one bar right there is worthy of paying attention to. I've given it a name. That is a directional intentional spike. What I mean by that, it's a signal from the chart telling me this stock is ready to climb. This is how I read it. It's a twofold signal, heads and tails. Heads, look at that bar, wherever she is down from. Now down, she came all the way down to the 200 hall and bounce, which I really like. Normally it would have just started here, which would have been fine. So she went up, this is key now, the solid part of the bar does not go over the 200. Solid part stays under the 200. Then it spits out a wick like a snake, puts that wick way up over the 200. The farther, the better. That bar looks great. So now I look at the next bar to tell the rest of the tale. I do not want this next bar to fall any lower than where this bar started. It started way down here. This one fell to just there. So now, as far as I'm concerned, this has a 98% chance of running. She's looking for an opportunity. What's that opportunity? When the 200 starts to level out and go flat. So after those two bars, I'm really not worried about what happens. I'm confident she's going to break out. So between this big bar and the breakout, I've got to find my entry position. 
I'm looking for a good place to get in. So after these two, I'm watching her. She came down and hit this low bubble. Wow, what a great entry because I'm confident she's going to run. She started to push up. Once she got up over top of the 200 hall here, this is where I would have got in. She already proved that she wasn't going to go any lower off of the low. She bounced instantly off of the low. Didn't take her time doing it. So that tells me people are interested in this price. Once she got up on top of the 200, that was it, folks. She bounced right there, pushed to the 200, through the 200, all the way up here to a buck five before she fell down to this support right here and bounced. But take a look where this support is at, folks. Right at the top of that bar. I told you I didn't want the bar, the solid part, to go over the 200. It's sitting right on top of that. How important is that, right? All of this is sitting on top of that right there. So we had a nice, beautiful climb here. All the SMAs and the price just walked over the 200. No problem whatsoever. Going right through all of these resistances. It wasn't until she got up here to 98 cents that she started having to punch to get through it. Then she started pulling back, hitting her head, fell back to this one. Now she's back up to that dollar button her head. Now to me, it looks like she's trying to get through. Here's our 200 haul, the price's friend. She is up underneath it. All of these MAs are starting to turn up right now. Our 200 is already climbing. If she can butt her head up on top of this resistance so it becomes a support at about 97 98 cents she'll get on top of that 200 haul and i'm telling you folks the way i see it she isn't going to bounce off of the 200 haul the 200 haul is going to push the price so between the bounce and the push i'm expecting a really nice move once she gets above a buck looking at our oscillators we just had a turnover today the PPO crossed over and got on top. It is starting to climb and our strength is getting more and more. Our MACD is climbing. Green bar is coming into the picture. And our RSI is at 57. I don't want to see it go any lower than 55 and I got no ceiling. RSI can go as high as it can possibly go. Five day, 15 minute. We got a low here of 75 cents. She's climbing. Looks like she's bouncing on her 50-day SMA. She floats around on all the rest, but when she falls, she comes down to the 50 as her floor. Bangs on that. She starts rolling around here. Look at our 200 haul. It was climbing. Right here, it starts to fall. What happens to our price? It follows the 200 haul, just as if it was the 200 MA. Went through our 200 MA, down to that support, just off of that one bar, Bounce back up on top of the 200, butting her head up against that dollar, and now butting down on top of the 200. So she is in between the two with our supports coming up underneath, our MAs, all of them, 200 haul, 50, 20, all coming underneath to give her a strong floor to push off of. Folks, this looks perfect to me. Our osculators, everything is climbing right now. All of them are climbing, every single chart. It's not super strong, but everything is turned up. Everything is growing. Everything looks luscious. And it's just like their, fun, their fundamentals. All of it is starting to grow now. I think it's a perfect time to be looking at this, folks. I think SHOT has a lot of followers. So I think when volume comes in, it's going to come in hard and fast. I think now is an excellent time to consider an entry underneath, well, all right, my best advice, I am not licensed. I can't tell you what to do, so I'll tell you what I would do. I'm not in this stock right now. If she gets up over a dollar and she gets to, oh, let's call it uh, a buck two, a dollar two. If she hits a dollar two, which is right there, if she can get above this point right there, above that solid bar, I think that would be a perfect entry and she should start to grow from there. And then of course you want to start looking at your resistances for getting out. We get out just underneath these. She's going to hit her head. If she doesn't plow through it, she's going to have to slow down and beat up against it until she, until she punches a hole and can get through. And if she gets too tired punching, she could fall right back down to here. So when we get up here, we think about selling some. She may not plow through, so sell some. And if she falls, you got gains before she came down. If she continues on, 
Well, you only sold some. You're still in the game and you got gains continuing to come to you. And when you get to the next resistance, you'll make that decision again. So as I said, I like SHOT for a lot of reasons I've already explained to you, but you may find even more if you do your own due diligence as you're supposed to. Don't be getting into any stock based on my research. I'm just here to get you curious, get you interested, share enough information to cause you to do due diligence. So go on, go do your due diligence now. Remember folks, the more you know, the more you're gonna grow. See you folks.